Hi, Mike. Hi. Uh, can you tell me a little bit of the history about the car, please? Yeah, the, uh, the Fiat, it's, it's 1905. It was a land speed record car that didn't ever, it, the construction was never completed. Uh, reason for being, um, Mercedes, they did a land speed record attempt, which they achieved in uh, 1905. Uh, and they, they did 109 mile an hour, uh, but the car had two engines in it. Uh, this Fiat was also designed to have two 100 horsepower engines in it. So the, the officiales wouldn't give them the, the record because they termed the car as a special. Right. So Fiat then ceased to build this car because it would have been in the same situation. There was no point in building the car because uh, it, could, it couldn't do an attempt. We know we have all the drawings, uh, factory drawing blueprints from 1905 of every component of the car. So on the major drawing, uh, which I, you've seen, uh, it shows that there's no gearbox in the car. This almost proves that it was a Lansby record car because they used to push start them at that time. Oh, right. okay. um, so we've since put in a gearbox in the car for obviously racing use. Uh, we, we hill climb the car now. Um, the engine in the car is from a First World War airship. Um, it's an Isotta Fraschini. It was known as a V6, although it's not a V configuration. It is, yeah. It's a straight six engine, which produces 250 horsepower. Um, it's about 850 pounds feet of torque. And so in first gear, when we're pulling away, we're actually producing somewhere near 3,000 pounds feet of torque at the rear wheels. So Prescott this year was quite exciting. We actually had the front of the car lifting. So uh, it was good fun. So Fr frightened everybody. <laughs> it, was, it was good fun. Yeah, we, we managed to do Prescott hill climb in 60 seconds this year, which for a 2.2 ton yeah. car of that length, and uh, an era, it was, yeah. was quite exciting. I think I got a stand innovation at Pardon because everybody said it was too long to go round. <laughs> <laughs> so when did it come into your possession? I've had the car 10, ten years now. Uh, I bought the project from Graham Rankin, a great friend of mine. Um, uh, and I, I spent eight years working on it nearly every day. I used to be up at six o'clock every morning in the workshop before I go to work, set up tooling to make something and then finish uh, doing that part. And I, I made a point of making a piece every day. Um, so all from the original drawings, yeah. the specifications. So although there's a lot of original Fiat parts in it, the front axle, the back axle, the chain box, and the, the chassis, uh, we, we have the provenance for the car, but most of it we didn't have. So we, we've made most of it. And you've been racing it two years, or going up hill climbs two years? Yeah, we've been doing uh, Prescott Hill Climb. We did Car Fest last year, which was which was a bit of fun, just just tear around the track. Uh, Castle Coombe uh, last season uh, did a demonstration there, high speed demonstration around Castle Coombe. So I only came off once, so it wasn't too bad. So what would it be eligible for in the Vintage Sports Car Club? Uh, I can do hill climbing or circuit racing with it basically, so with the VSCC, all the events of the VSCC. I don't think it will be any good for muddy trails, too, too long, um, too much power, not enough grip. Yeah. Probably get stuck wouldn't you? I'm going to get <laughs> stuck, yeah without a doubt. Yeah. Are you intending to race it then in the future? Yeah, I think next year uh, Mallory, they do a, a vintage, sorry an Edwardian uh, race. Been invited this year but unable to do it this year but I hope to do it next year. Uh, at Mallory. Well, Mallory is back on the on the circuits again. It's uh, it was closed for some time, but um, it's back again this year. So you will yeah. get your chance. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I have been invited, but unable to do it this year. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for the interview, and thank you for the history on the car. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you.